Hey everybody, it's Leah coming to you from Evolve Pilates from my house. Um, I put together a Pilates sequence for you. Um, this should complement any um, exercise that you're doing at home, especially if you're running or biking, um, which I hear a lot of people are doing. So um, I tried to just put something together that that can um, just you know, help to lengthen, help to strengthen, hit your core. Um, this is my first time doing this, so the video um, setup might be a little, I might have to play with it a little bit, but enjoy. Um, we're gonna start on our backs. I don't have a tall view, so I'm gonna stay on the mat the whole time. Um, if at any point you need to take a break, just draw your knees in towards your chest or push yourself back into a child's pose. Um, listen to your body and, um, and breathe. Don't be shy about your breath. You're in your own home. So um, the Pilates breathing, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, really filling up your lungs and getting rid of every last little ounce of oxygen um, before you take your next inhale in. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna start on your backs. Nice and long. And I just want you to feel your feet into the floor. Go ahead and take a peek and make sure that your, your heels are lined up with your hips and your toes are pointing away. And then just come on back down to your back. Arms nice and long. You can go ahead and put the palms of your hands right on your hip bones and just sort of wiggle your hips back and forth, side to side. So as you wiggle here side to side, I want you to find a place that's, that feels like you're in the center. And then once you're there, we're gonna toggle your pelvis forward and back. So go into pelvic tilts here, right? Where you tuck your, tuck your tail, and then sort of lay your tailbone nice and flat on your mat. And again, I want you to toggle between these two to figure out which, where you, where you feel centered, looking for your neutral pelvis here. So once you feel like you have found somewhere in between the front and back and the side to side, you're gonna stay there. Arms nice and long, just go ahead and reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. You're gonna inhale, shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, inhale, exhale, just let them drop down. Inhale, you're gonna reach up. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. Now I want you to inhale to reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Keep those shoulder blades open as you bring your arms up overhead. Start to draw the shoulder blades down as you circle the arms. One full breath. So reach up, really reach the shoulder blades away from one another, up over the head. Now start to draw the shoulder blades down and around. Two more like that. Last one. And reverse. So here you're gonna open, reach your shoulders up by your ears, touch the ceiling, and lower. Inhale to open, shoulders up by the ears, fingertips to the ceiling, lower the shoulder blades and then the arms. Fingertips to the ceiling, lower the shoulder blades, and then the arms. Last one. One full deep breath. Good. So arms nice and long by your sides. I want you to press through the entire length of your arm. Nice wide collarbone. And you're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna tuck your tail and you're gonna press yourself up into a bridge. 
arms stay nice and long. When you get to the top, stay here for a minute. So I just want you to allow the belly to fall back towards the spine and hug your ribs around your organs here. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna come down one vertebra at a time. Your tail is the last thing to come down. And when it comes down, I want you to fully release the tail to the mat. Again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna round yourself up. When you're up here, your weight is just behind your shoulder blades, right behind your, your breastbone here. Inhale at the top, exhale to come down. Again, fully releasing your tail. We're gonna do one more here. Inhale at the top, exhale to lower. Good, fully release the tail. Right leg lifts up, left leg lifts up. Bring your arms out to either side. You can have palms down or up. From here, you're just gonna inhale, the legs over towards the right. Exhale back to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale back to center. So chest stays nice and open. Shoulder blades remain on the floor. Last time rotating to the right. Last time to the left. Good, legs are gonna stay up. Arms are gonna come down by your side. You're gonna reach your fingertips past your hips and start to come up into your upper abdominal curl here. So nice wide collarbone, reaching the fingertips. If this is your first time doing the 100, you can keep your legs at this tabletop position or you can lift them up towards the ceiling. You're gonna lower your legs until you don't, so you feel engaged in the front, but not, not any strain in the back. Reaching the fingertips, you're gonna start to inhale Exhale. 10 full deep breaths. The whole arm is pumping, not just the wrist. I can feel the backs of my hips. I can also feel the backs of my shoulders. Last big deep breath. Good, draw your knees in, set your head down, just rock yourself back and forth. You're gonna extend both legs on your mat. Oh, I you can see me. Legs are together and the feet are flexed. Arms come up. The exercises roll up. So you're going to inhale to start to lift your head, neck, and chest. Exhale. You're going to come up one vertebra at a time. And then same thing on the way back. One full breath. Articulating as you go. If you find that when you come up and you get stuck and you're just throwing yourself up and over, I want you to go ahead and bend your legs. You can hold on behind your legs here. And then as you come down, again, you're wheeling your pelvis here, coming down one vertebra at a time. Inhale up and over. Trying not to throw yourself. And then when you get the hang of it with the legs bent, you're going to straighten them. You may never straighten them or you may never bend them. It's every body is different.
One more here, coming up and over. Coming all the way down. Here we go. Arms are gonna stay nice and long by your side. Legs are coming up into the air. So the exercise is roll over. On the way down. If you're new to this exercise, what I want you to do is you're going to inhale your legs away. Exhale, just think about just lifting the last leg, third of your spine up and off the mat, and then carefully place it back down. So inhale to prepare, exhale, inhale to come back down with control. If this is a familiar exercise for you and you want to take it into the full rollover, it's inhale to prepare, exhale to roll over, flex your feet, open them the width of the mat, and come down with control. Two more here. When you roll over, again, your weight is between the shoulder blades. It's not up on your neck. When your hips are down, the legs are open. Leave them open, point the feet. Exhale over. Draw your feet together, flex your feet, and come down with control. Last two. And one. When your hips are down, you're going to drop your left leg all the way to the mat. Right leg is, right arm is going to hold right behind this right hamstring. Allow that knee to bend in towards your chest. You're going to inhale to grow the leg nice and long. Flex the foot, exhale, release. Inhale to press long. Exhale. You can't see mine, but my left leg is nice and long and the left foot is flexed. Good, next time this leg is up, leave it up. You're gonna point and flex this top foot. Can't see it, but I'm pointing and flexing there. You're gonna stay pointed and you're gonna circle that foot at the ankle. So it's gonna look like this, but your leg is extended straight up. And reverse that circle. Good. Leave that leg up. Arms are going to come nice and long to your side. This left leg is flexed, the leg, left foot. You're going to inhale to draw this right leg across your body, down, around, and up. One full breath. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Three more for a total of eight. Pause at the top. You're going to come down, across, over, and up. Down, across, over, and up. You're drawing circles in the sky here with this leg. But as you can see, my my torso is not moving. It's just the leg. Last two. Good. You're going to draw that knee in and draw it across your body as you open up. Opposite direction. Good, you're gonna extend that right leg nice and long. You're gonna hold behind this left hamstring. You're gonna inhale to grow it nice and long and tall. Exhale to release. So point to kick up, flex to pull down. Last two. 
last two and one I want you to inhale that leg back up nice and long and you're gonna point and flex so again I'm pointing and flexing but your leg is staying straight here stay pointed and circle at the ankle so it looks like this and reverse. Good. Arms gonna come to your side. This up leg, if you felt gripping in your hip on the last side, you're gonna turn that leg out. And you're gonna come across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Four more. Last one. As you re reverse. Last one here. I'm gonna drive that knee in towards your chest, across your body, and then open up to the other side. Breathing, don't abandon your breath here. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Come back to center, grab behind both legs. Inhale, exhale your, yourself up. So next up is rolling like a ball. So you're gonna balance yourself between your tailbone and your sit bones. Hands are lightly on your shins. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and find your scoop. You're gonna to inhale to rock back. Exhale. Up. Challenge yourself by making your ball a little bit tighter. Use your breath rather than momentum to get back up. Last three. When you're up, stay up. You're gonna set your feet down, set your hands down, scoot yourself back and you're gonna curl yourself back so you're in position for the stomach series. We start with single leg stretch. We're gonna do eight of each. Draw the right knee in, left leg is extended out, and switch, switch. Last time either side, pull the right knee in, double leg stretch. Last two. Both legs come up for scissor. You're gonna reach up. Your legs are gonna try to stay straight. Look at your belly button. Pull, pull, and switch. Last time, either leg. Hands come behind your head. Double leg, lower and lift. So you're gonna inhale the legs away. Scoop your abdominals, pull the legs up. Inhale. Throw some footwork in if you want. Flex away, point to lift.
and we finish with crisscross lift and twist Last time, lower yourself down to the mat. One hand on either knee and just circle the legs around in the hip sockets. First in one direction and then reverse. You're gonna extend the legs out and you're gonna roll over onto your stomach. So for swan, you're gonna position your hands anywhere from right underneath your shoulders. You can come out off your mat. You can come a little bit in front of your shoulders. Forehead is gonna be down on your mat. Chest is nice and heavy. Again, let your pelvis be heavy so pubic bone and hip bones are anchored down onto the mat. Scoop the abdominals up and away as you inhale to start to lift up. Exhale, lower down. So when you lift up here, don't just immediately use your arms. You wanna lift up as high as you can before you then assist with the arms. Start with the head. Everybody's swan is going to look a little bit different. It depends on your spine. But keep going. You're just going to inhale. Last one here. When you lower yourself down, you're going to send your arms out in front of you and your legs are just going to open up so you're forming like an x with your body forehead is down on your mat so i really want you to press your left arm and your right leg down into the mat press them down and then release and then you're going to press your right arm and left leg down into the mat and release left arm right leg release right arm, left leg, release. So now you're gonna press your right leg, left arm down. At the same time, you're gonna float the opposite extremities up. And switch. Now you're pressing your right arm, left leg down. Inhale to float the left arm, right leg up. Continue with that. First, do the down pressure before you float up. So you may stay here instead of swimming just by pressing down and lifting up. Or if you're ready for it, you're going to lift top and bottom and kick and paddle. Full deep breaths. Nice wide collar. Try to match your legs with your hands. Scoop your abdominals up and away from the mat. Three more deep breaths here. Good, allow yourself to come down onto the mat. Tend to bend your knees and just windshield wipe your legs here. Good. Find your feet under you. Hands are gonna come under the shoulders. You're gonna press up into a plank position. Where you want me? So find your plank. I want your shoulders right over the wrists. Scoop your abdominals up, press your chest away, and extend from the crown of your head through your heels. And breathe.
keep pressing that chest away. You're gonna float the right leg up, lower the left heel, lift the left heel, replace the foot. Left leg comes up, lower, lift, replace. Last two on either side. Come down to your hands and knees and just go into cat cow. So you're gonna inhale to arch your back, send your sit bones away, exhale, round your back, belly button the spine. Last two. Good, you're gonna come back to a seated position. Come down onto your mat. Legs are extended. We're gonna finish with teaser. So your choice, whether or not you like to start with your arms by your side, I prefer to start with my arms up over my head. So as I inhale and bring my arms down by my side, I lift my head, neck, and chest. As soon as I can see my toes, I'm gonna engage my abdominals. Exhale and press up. Inhale at the top, exhale to come down with control. Inhale at the top, exhale to come down. We've got two more. Last one. Just go ahead and grab your left wrist with your right hand and draw it over towards the right side of your mat. You're gonna cross the legs. You're forming like a little banana shape here with your body. And just breathe into that whole left side. Just open up. And then just draw everything over to the left side. Just grab the back of your legs, roll yourself up, and thank you for joining me.